You're born, you take shit. You go out on the world, you take more shit. You climb up a little higher, you take less shit. Until one day, you're up in the rarefied atmosphere, and you've forgotten what shit even smells like. Welcome to the lair, cake son. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Layer Cake. This is by far one of the best movies that Daniel Craig ever did, and in my opinion, it's Matthew Vaughn's best movie that he's ever directed. Matthew Vaughn, you'll know from films like Kingsman, Kingsman 2, Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class. He also had a hand in doing some producing for the X-Men series, which kind of led it into Poopyville. But Matthew Vaughn got his start with producing some of Guy Ritchie's movies, and some would say that Layer Cake is a Guy Ritchie movie, but on a little bit of a different level. I can almost agree to that. However, I feel that Layer Cake has this uniqueness to it in terms of a captivating criminal drama with some fantastic soundtrack selections, as well as some pretty ingenious camera techniques and visual storytelling. The film follows Daniel Craig's character, who is a cocaine dealer, and the opening monologue of this movie sets everything up perfectly. He walks in a store that looks like a department store, but it's got cocaine, methamphetamines, and they're all in FC UK containers. Remember when that was a huge brand, at least out here? I haven't seen one of those shirts or those stores in forever. He talks about how eventually they will realize that there isn't millions, but billions to be gained by this. And that is essentially his character, is that he's just kind of ahead of the curve. He has rules, he has morals, but he does take advantage of what he can, and he deals in a business that, while technically is illegal, he does it in the best way he can. The film has a fantastic set of characters, to the point where there are some side characters that you would almost say are Ritchie characters. Some of the actors in this movie are even from Guy Ritchie films. And I feel that this movie gives you quite a few twists, really <gasps> moments from beginning to end. All the while with some fantastic acting and narration by Craig, as well as all the other cast members and the music. The music is so good. I actually went out of my way to get the soundtrack, the physical soundtrack, even though when I bought this off of Amazon, it was $40. That was the cheapest option. FC Kuhana, The Cult, Kylie Minogue, The Source, a few uh, Duran Duran songs, Craig Armstrong, Joe Cocker, Lisa Gerrard, Craig Armstrong's track of Ruthless Gravity, so good. Honestly, my favorite part of this movie is Ordinary World. For those of you who've seen the movie and you know the context of the scene, it's just a great, great scene. And that's not even about the main character, it's about a side character, and that's what I enjoy a lot about Layer Cake, is that you get an extensive background into all of these characters. They're not just faces, they actually have a reason, a purpose, and interest in them. Whereas some films would kind of sideline these guys to a stereotype, you see that each character has a great arc. We see that everyone matters in the story, even the ones that you don't think matter at all, they in the end do have lasting effects. And all the while that this story is going on, there's humor littered throughout it, which will make you ball out laughing. It's not on the same level of almost silliness that Richie's films go into, which is welcome because it works within those films of his. This one still portrays a level of seriousness while having humor very lightly sprinkled in, but every moment that there is humor is perfect. I've got an idea. Why don't you come around for breakfast? I'll squeeze some orange juice and grind some coffee and we can talk about this like adults. How does that sound? Hmm? Sounds very hospitable. Do you know where I live? No. Well, fuck off then. And then talking about visual styles, there's a few camera angles, a few camera tricks that act as almost seamless change from one scene to another. There's one particular shot on Craig's eyes that leads into the scene using Craig Armstrong's Ruthless Gravity track. It's one of my favorite shots in the whole movie. Matthew Vaughn definitely proved himself as a director, and this, if I'm correct, was his first film. So to have an outing this good, he proved that what most first started off producers can't do, which is direct a really good movie. You want a good example of it? Look at what Simon Kinberg did to fucking Dark Phoenix. And I think that that's what makes me like the movie so much, is that it will surprise you right up until the end. And even with the ending that's in this film, it's very, very rewatchable. It's great to see a bunch of actors in this film before they got really big. Daniel Craig, this was the movie that got him Bond. You see a young Tom Hardy. You see Sally Hawkins as a complete and utter reversal of her character from The Shape of Water. And speaking of actors who kind of just surprise you in this film, Dumbledore's in this movie. 
and he's a tan gangster. I thought I could cap in your ass. I can rewatch this movie any day of the week. It is one of my favorite films I've ever seen of Craig's. So if you ever get the chance, I think it's on Netflix right now, at least for Canada, you should watch this movie. It's that damn good. In the end, I'm gonna give Layer Cake a seven out of seven. This is a really good movie. Definitely check this movie out. That's all I'll say about it. Anyways, guys, if you like this review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.